Cleanup efforts underway across Cape Cod after a tornado touched down there. The storm ripped the roofs right off of the Cape Sands in there in Yarmouth. The storm also bringing heavy wind and rain. This was the scene in Harwich yesterday. True, trees are down all across Cape Cod. Right now, more than 31,000 customers are without power. The National Weather Service now confirming an EF1 tornado touched down in both Yarmouth and Harwich yesterday. And the damage all across the Cape is extensive. We have team coverage for you this morning. Anna Myler is live in West. To Yarmouth, but we'll start with Michelle Fisher live in Harwich, where the town has declared a state of emergency. Michelle. The National Weather Service says the greatest amount of damage from that tornado was here in Harwich. If you take a look behind me here on Bariah Brooks Road, you can see some of it. Two large downed trees blocking this road. And all across town, there are countless other neighborhoods that look just like this this morning. When yesterday's tornado blasted through Harwich, it snapped and uprooted trees by the hundreds, many of them falling on homes, cars, and utility lines. At one point yesterday, more than 90% of the town's residents were without power. That prompted officials to declare a state of emergency. The severe weather is something that residents we spoke with say they never really expected. It was bad. It was scary. We ran into the hallway when it happened. It happened so fast. I've never seen anything like that before. It was really scary. <laughs> um, we hadn't had a tornado here before. The National Weather Service says that this damage was caused by both that confirmed tornado and also straight line winds. There will be survey teams on the ground again today assessing the strength and path of both. Meanwhile, town officials are warning residents that it could be days before power is fully restored for the community. Reporting live in Harwich, I'm Michelle Fisher, WBZ This Morning. And the force of that storm so powerful it tore the roof right off of this inn in Yarmouth, sending debris flying. Our team coverage continues now with Anna Myler live in West Yarmouth with a closer look at the damage there. Anna? Okay, Chris, this area of the hotel is now blocked off with caution tape. Dumpsters are in place for the cleanup today after a tornado tore apart this fencing here on the second floor and ripped the roof right off this row of hotel rooms. This was the moment that the roof was lifted right off of the Cape Sands Inn here in Yarmouth. And in this video from Sky Eye, you can see the unbelievable aftermath. Hotel rooms left exposed and insulation and debris scattered all over the ground. The owner says, he brought the in about a year ago and just replaced the roof. He never imagined this would happen. I had to hide my uh, my emotion because I cannot cry at this moment. But yeah, this is my livelihood. The National Weather Service says an EF1 tornado with wind speeds up to 110 miles per hour caused this damage. You can see trees snapped in half, others completely uprooted. The strong winds also brought down power lines all over. One woman described how she took shelter during the storm. 